and Transantiphon. He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And today we uh, celebrate uh, the uh, second uh, uh, day uh, in the octave of Easter, the Tuesday within the octave of Easter. Um, I apologize for those watching us live streaming on the delay. I was called into the hospital uh, for a COVID-19 patient. Don't worry, I put on all my protective equipment and everything, and, uh, um, and, uh, but please pray for Jerry. And I was also uh, called last night uh, um, as well to anoint someone. This person did not have COVID-19, but also uh, please pray for Ken. So play, pray for Ken and Jerry uh, during this Mass. They're both uh, 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 Ken almost certainly and uh, uh, Jerry possibly in the last hours of life. And so let's call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you give us the joy of your resurrection in this Easter time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the hope of heaven through your resurrection. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the gift of your Holy Spirit through the resurrection. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us pastoral remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven, over what gladdens them now on earth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were caught to the hearts. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, 
whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The, the earth, earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Of the Lord. According to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, 
Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember one priest who told me that he was convinced that the first resurrection appearance was not to any of the apostles, not even to Mary Magdalene here, that his fir Jesus' first resurrection appearance was, of course, to the Blessed Mother, to his mother. And uh, I'm sure many people reading the uh, accounts of the resurrection have said, well, you know, why wasn't Jesus there to greet them as soon as they got to the tomb? Uh, and... Uh, 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 this priest says, well, because he was with his mom, yeah. that's why. So, uh, but of course, I, if you would say the most moving resurrection appearances, what are they? Well, uh, I would say this one is uh, in the top three. My top three resurrection appearances are this one to Mary Magdalene, the uh, one to the disciples on the road to Emmaus, and then uh, the appearance to uh, 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 the apostles on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, uh, um, and, and that is where uh, Jesus asks Peter three times, do you love me? And his uh, denials are taken away by his threefold uh, uh, affirmation of his love for Jesus. But this appearance, I think, is particularly moving uh, for several reasons. First, Mary's Magdalene is really in quite the state. I'm sure uh, the reason she doesn't recognize Jesus is uh, nothing mystical, just physical. Her eyes are filled with tears. She's weeping copiously. And yet suddenly she does realize it's Jesus, and uh, um, he uh, tells her to let the other apostles know and, uh, um, and uh, uh, that he is going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. And I think that message is Jesus just reaffirming, but it's now completely fulfilled in the resurrection, that the barriers between us and his heavenly Father are now gone with the resurrection. That now we truly are in a relationship with God as our Father. And that his Father is our Father as well. That we are as close to God through him as he is to his heavenly Father. That his heavenly Father loves us as much as he loves his son Jesus because he uh, 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 was willing to offer his son for us. And so today, with Mary Magdalene, we should just be overcome with joy. Jesus has broken down all the barriers, and now what we're called to do is simply enter into a deep relationship with God and with each other through Jesus and his resurrection. And now let's bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church throughout the world that we may always and everywhere proclaim Jesus Christ, especially uh, through uh, 
deepening our relationship with uh, the Father, Jesus, with God the Father, and with each other, that we may treat each other all as brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all world leaders that they work together in this time of the pandemic, putting aside uh, uh, any divisions and working as one to assure the safety of our country and the world in this time of the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the sick, especially those dear to us, and in a special way for Ken and Jerry, uh, both of whom might well be in the last hours of life and who were anointed last night, that God may help them and all our beloved sick to find uh, healing and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the dead, especially those dear to us, and especially for all those who have died in this pandemic, and in a special way today for Joseph Spiker, who's remembered in this Eucharist, that God may grant Joseph and all our beloved dead a place of refreshment, light, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all uh, those who work in health care, for all the nurses, doctors, therapists, support staff, volunteers, chaplains, uh, that we may all be true healers in the spirit as well as the body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we Pause now to add our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. Almighty God, we bring our prayers before you, knowing that you will answer them as you do all things through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and penance for the praise and glory of his name. Father, deliver me to the of his holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover 
has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before him. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night with he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Margaret, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis Arco and 
Douglas, our bishop, our retired Bishop Robert, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Come, O oh God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on all. Come, O oh God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you, as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the word of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 